Hello and welcome. Today we want to talk about the circle button, the Guna circle button. So if you haven't watched the Guna button videos, please go ahead and watch all those videos because the properties that we have in the circle button are similar to the ones we have in the default button this guna button the difference is that this button is circular and there are some few features that we want to talk about so just like any other guna button we have an animated property by default it's set to false we can change it to true and we can also change the border thickness and the border color and the border style as well so the difference between a circle button and a regular button is that instead of uh, customizing this guna button to make it a circle out of the box we have a variant or a version of a guna button which is circle so you don't have to spend a lot of time trying to change this button to a circle button and trying to configure the alignment and everything just simply use the circle button it computes the circle perfectly more than some of the customizations we can make of course you can change the width and height to suit but the circle button is perfectly designed to be a circle button so just like the guna button we have the few color features we have the hover state we have the emo image property where we can choose which images we want to apply the difference with the circle button as compared to the guna button is that when we have images on the guna button the image is applied by default to the left of the text but in the circle button is applied on top of the text to honor the alignment and the padding of the text within the circle button so let's run the project and see what we have there is the circle button and there is our guna button so I invite you friends to check out a series of videos where I discussed about the guna button and all the features that we have as those features are identical to the ones we find in the circle button in the circle button we can change the width and the height of the image and as we do so the text will be applied and the padding between the text and the image or icon will be automatically computed at the same time we can also change the text alignment to left right or center we can also change the text transform to uppercase, lowercase, and default. And remember, when the text transform property is set to none, which is the default, the formatting of the text will be taken from the text default text property and it will be applied to the text transform property when its type is set to none. But when set to uppercase, the text will be capitalized. Lowercase, the text will be in lowercase. But when set to default, which is none, the formatting will be taken from the default text and then applied to the text transform. Let's see this by an example. So let's write Guna Seko. And we are going to provide the capital button in capital letters there we have it if we change the text transform to uppercase all the text is capitalized lowercase the entire text is in lowercase 
none now we see the identical text as with the text property is because the formatting is taken from the default text property and applied to the text transform property when it is set to none which is the default setting so i invite you please to look at the videos which i talked about the guna button and then check out the circle button this is a guna button in another variant a circle variant is perfectly suited when you need a circle button you can use this guna circle button when you need a button in circle format you can use this instead of trying to customize the the default guna button out of the box we have provided for you guys the circle button and the circle button can have different modes so let me delete this and let me change the mode we can make it a default button radio button and we can change the check checked status we want the fill color to be black and we want the border color to be black and the four color will remain as white and let's duplicate these buttons and let's run the project just like the guna button the behavior will be the same as you can see the behavior will be the same the circle button is acting like a radio button it can also act like a toggle button the behavior is the same so thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video